Now today we're looking at the Alloy playing cards. Super, super cool design. I got these from a buddy of mine here at college and I cannot wait to show them to you. So if you like deck reviews, I do one every single Wednesday. So if you love playing cards, you love deck reviews, you're in the right place. So subscribe, ring the bell, smash the like button, and let's get into this review of these gorgeous cards right now. Now first we're gonna take a look at the tuck box. Now the front of it is done in all like silver foil so you can see depending on how it flex you actually start to get different colors like you see that rainbow right there uh, it says alloy in the center with the spade pip and it actually has six spade pips around it absolutely loving this and the outsides are and the rest of the box is going to be just the same way one side says gambler's warehouse from dallas texas and the other side says master finish designed in the usa the bottom is some expert playing card company and gambler's warehouse ad copy and then the back is going to be the back design which i'm not going to show you quite yet now the top of the tuck box says alloy and you have some really fun design work there on top now in addition to that the inside is also done so you see the two spade pips there but the entire inside of the tuck case is done as well, which makes it really luxurious, really cool. They put all that extra time and effort into that, which I really love. That is all I can say for this tuck box with all this crazy amounts of silver foil, but no embossing, which is kind of surprising for a deck that looks like this. That's it for the tuck box. Let's take a look at the cards. Now, the first thing we're gonna look at are the number cards. We have these spade pips and all the pips have been um, redone both how, with how it looks and the placements which I'll get to in a second and you also have this border that looks like the outside of the back design uh, with the black border going and going to be in every single one of these cards so there is your two of spades three of spades starting to look similar and four of spades same placement just smaller pips a little bit closer five again but now once you get to the six now you realize the placement's different you have the seven different again eight being just a diamond nine and lastly 10 all those being different definitely then you of course have your heart pips which look like this your clubs and diamonds that's all i can say for the number cards because like i actually like the silver but it's like a gray on the faces instead of a silver on the faces which makes it a little bit sad for me i think that i know it would have cost more but putting that extra little bit of foil on the faces as well uh, like, a lot like stockholm does would have been really cool and then in addition to that, I don't understand why we're doing this tannish gray. Not my thing. Not for this deck. Now onto the court cards. We have a redone design of bicycle court cards. Super cool. I actually really like it. Honestly, I almost like it more than bicycle. Uh, it just looks more elegant, more detailed. Uh, so here are your spades. And they honestly just look luxurious. They really do. Uh, here are your diamonds as well. I'll show you all. Uh, 12 of them, but honestly even just like when looking at the faces They look like actual faces instead of being instead of looking like something that was just designed really quick and thrown onto a deck of cards Which honestly, I'm not a fan of that like it's a classic look But they took a classic look and redid it and made it more elegant super well done on these court cards next Let's take a look at our semi duplicate jokers So everything is exactly the same except for the word joker in the corners uh, is going to change a little bit to where just the color was changed but that's really the main difference on these two jokers i like them they just look like two extra court cards and if like when you first open the box you wouldn't know the difference i wish there was a little bit more creativity put into these jokers so it was more distinguishable between the jokers and the court cards because i actually didn't know at first until i saw it it took me a second and that's a little bit hard for me up next we have our aces we have our ace of diamonds ace of clubs ace of hearts and last but not least your alloy ace of spades honestly super super dope loving this ace of spades it's like got the metallic vibe but it's also like kind of like not gears turning but like the, the guy that had all like the metal fingers and stuff that could like slash it i cannot remember the name of him right now but it's, it's so cool i love this ace of spades I really do. And last but not least, your back design. So your back design is going to have a lot of the same metallic foil that was on the tuck box with the back design that was on the box as well. Saying alloy and honestly it's like it's like old rustic architecture and a lot of metal had a baby. Really, really cool way of doing this. Wouldn't trade it for the world. And when you're doing cardistry with something like this, because of the way it glints, like even if you just look at the tuck box back there, because of the way you guys can see it right now, I think it looks like a purplish but also has some blue in it. Like just doing cardistry with these things, 
you end up seeing different colors. Now the lighting right here is not optimal for seeing all those different colors, um, but you get some fun different flares with it, and it's it's just a whole lot of fun to do cards with because it's not just it doesn't stay one color when you're doing it. So you're starting off with silver cards, then you go to purple and green and blue and red, and like you have a rainbow of cards with the same cards. It's pretty dope. But one thing you want to know is if they can faro. So let's check that out really quick. And from top to bottom, uh, holy crap, I'm just gonna show you that. Um, basically the answer is no. That stuff I had to try and saw back and forth to try to get anything to go down from top to bottom. Um, bottom to top worked great, no struggle there. But yeah, I wouldn't try to do this top to bottom. Um, fanning, what you get after that. So this is a fan of the back design and then you get a fan of the faces as well. So this is why I'm not a big fan of those colors um, because it's like, the white isn't white, it's like a yellowish tan, which isn't even the same tan that's used in the other parts of it. And then you have like a red. Why are you using light tan yellow, red and brown in this deck? Does not fit, get rid of that, for real. If you do an alloy V2 or V3 or whatever, uh -uh, please don't. I do really love this deck though, honestly. There's just tweaks like that that I'd make that I'd say, no. But the rest of it, I'd say, heck yes. I hope that makes sense. Um, but how does this deck feel, right? If you end up buying this deck, uh, you wanna know how it's gonna feel so when you get it. So I, I do it in two ways. One, I have um, a how thick is it meter. So you have the um, thickness of thin, medium, and thick. And then you have how it feels, which can be either uh, buttery, middle of the line, or crispy. Um, or you can put stiff there as well. Let's go with how thick it is first. This deck definitely feels like a thicker deck, um, it, but it actually, I'm not sure because of how like snappy slash stiff it is. So if I had to say, it's freakishly snappy. There's no butter to it at all. It might lean a little bit into the stiff side, which is a little bit sad for me. Um, but if you're wanting like just a deck that you can do moves where it's just snappy, just like that's, this is a deck that is so freakishly snappy. Um, if you like to break decks in, I haven't broke this deck in and I've had it for I don't know how many months now. This is a deck that if you're wanting a snappy deck, this is it. It probably is middle of the line. That's really it. It's not really that, it's probably not that much thicker. Just looking at it, feeling it, it just really, really, really snappy. Maybe a little bit too far into that category. But what you wanna know is should you buy it, right? So if you're a magician, I probably wouldn't pick this deck up. Um, not because it's not a cool deck, but because it's not really magic oriented, right? It's not, it doesn't have anything that's crazy for magicians, no reveals, um, no different stacks, not duplicate jokers. There's only 54 cards. So no add cards, no double backer, blank card, nothing. So it's just not really a magician suited deck. I, do you think I, you could do it with it? Yeah, I think you could. So I'll probably end up doing it at some point with these de with the deck when I'm just carrying around, I'm walking around at college and people know me like, hey, could you do a magic trick? I could do tricks with this deck. This isn't one I couldn't do it with. It's just not, not the first choice. Uh, cardistry, I think you could definitely do cardistry with this. Um, I think it might be a little bit of a stretch because it's not a cardistry deck and the faces make it hard to do cardistry, um, but the back would make it, the backs would be really fun to do cardistry with. Um, as a collector's deck, this is what I would say. If you are a collector, this is 100% where I would put it. If you like one cards that have cool talk boxes like that, that are all foil and could go on a uh, shelf like that. If you want just a deck that has a back design that, like this, like there's so many different aspects of being a collector. Uh, and this is definitely one that I would pick up if you are one. Is it a hype deck? No, it's not. There was a lot of detail and intentionality put into it. And would I use it for gameplay? Yeah, I think you could use it for gameplay. And if you guys did like this deck, you can check it out in the description for 10% off with the code CARDPERFECTMAGICIAN, all one word, lowercase, from Rare Playing Cards. So thank you to them. Uh, they, didn't spot, they did not sponsor this video, but they helped you guys out. So you might as well take use of what it is. And you don't just have to buy this deck with that code. Everything in the entire store is 10% off. So if you want to use that, go to the description, check it out, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect. signing off. Come on now, you know this is going to top 100. Now we have a new top 100 decks and you'll have to wait till my birthday on November 20th where we're doing a live stream showing you my top 100 decks. So come hang out and it'll be a blast. I might give some away, you never know. So let's get ready to do that. So if you wanna be right there for when we do this 100 deck collection of everything 
of my top 100 decks. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified when it happens. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect. Signing off. Peace out, y'all.